Hello, I'm Kiernan Ryan. I'm Emeritus Professor of English Literature at Royal Holloway. And I want to talk to you today about Othello. Othello was written from an imaginative standpoint far ahead of Shakespeare's time. Just think about it. In a country where few people outside London would even have seen a black person, and centuries before the problems that trigger the tragedy became as widespread and acute as they are for us today, Shakespeare produced in Othello a critique of racial and sexual injustice that's more powerful now in the 21st century than it could ever have been at the dawn of the 17th. Race plays a vital but not the decisive role in bringing about the tragic catastrophe. By falling in love and eloping, Othello and Desdemona defy the paternal wrath and general hostility their interracial marriage is bound to incur. In their eyes, there's nothing illicit about their love, to which they regard themselves, and the play regards them as fully entitled. But the racist abuse their elopement provokes in Iago and Brabantio makes the subversive implications and consequent insecurity of their mixed-race marriage clear. Othello's visibly alien identity makes him and his bride more vulnerable to Iago's machinations than if he were an equally accomplished and invaluable uh, upper-class white Venetian. Their transgressive marriage um, forces them from the start into a defensive posture which predisposes Othello to the suspicions that grip him so quickly at Iago's prompting. But Othello's vulnerability as a black outsider is inseparable from his patriarchal views of women and marriage, which proved decisive in sealing Desdemona's fate and his own. The reason why Iago succeeds so swiftly in persuading Othello to swallow his vile slander of Desdemona is that Othello is primed to believe it by the prevailing misogynistic attitudes that he shares with Iago. His devious plot works by reflecting Othello's own beliefs, confirming his suspicions and fulfilling his expectations. When Emilia begs Iago to deny duping Othello into murdering Desdemona, he replies, I told him what I thought and told no more than what he thought himself was apt and true. So the disturbing thing about Iago is not that he's unfathomably malign. It's that his malignity is all too predictable a product of the racially and sexually divided society that produced him. The bigoted, misogynistic world of Othello confronts in Dam Diago the inhuman dog, not some inexplicably evil entity, but a grotesque caricature of its own real nature of itself, which makes it, of course, all the more disturbing that he exploits his seductive intimacy with the audience to make us complicit with his hatred and entrapment of Othello, whether we like it or not.